Back in my son's room, I'd like to show you today a closer look at the classic adventures of Paddington by Michael Bond with uh, illustrations by Peggy Fortnum. It's the HarperCollins edition, uh, which is sleeved and it's hard. It's a very nice hardback mm, edition. The um, cover itself is, is very nice. Um, let me get uh, to my desk. You can see that the uh, illustrations that there's some some of the classic illustrations from inside the book uh, which are rendered on this sleeve here in this very nice shiny blue metallic blue effect it looks very very um very pretty there we are uh can I show you the essential collection of Paddington Bear uh, stories? And um, the um, yeah, so all the original books are collected in this uh, in this rather large volume. Uh, unfortunately, my copy has been a little bit battered. I mean, we've <laughs> it's it's had very good use. Um, my my son has enjoyed these. Um, for quite a while now and we've we've read most of the contents we haven't quite finished the the, the final two or three books maybe but um but we we have read most of uh, of the stories of Paddington and thoroughly enjoyed them where uh, we've taken a break basically where we'll we will finish them eventually because William's such a fan uh, the illustrations on the back are just in um, in in a darker blue they they don't they don't shine as you can see the book itself Pull it out. Oh, how am I going to do this with one hand? <laughs> Look at that skill. There we are. Here's the book itself. It's uh, it's very nice, very very um, clean red um, cover. Of course, no need for a paper dust cover since there's that lovely sleeve. And what you get inside brief introduction. So this um, is a different uh, illustrator. Um, I can't remember the name of this uh, of this illustrator, but um, uh, this is the illustrator who's been doing the more recent um, illustrations for Paddington, and um, we do have one of the um, more recent editions, which are kind of um, simplified for younger children. Um, very nice, you know, with with big, um, colourful illustrations, but. Um, but here you get all the original stories f where the language wasn't really um, pared down for children or dumbed down, as it were. Um, and and the illustrations are just black and white as they appeared in the original um, volumes. So each book is color coded with these little um, with 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 the line that goes around, but also with these little. Um, Paddington silhouettes <clears throat> that appear at the top. Um, so that's the first book, and then if you skip a few pages, you get to the uh, second book, and as you see, um, different colour, different colour again, and with each book you get a you get a different colour. Mm -hmm. And just that uh, first page of each book uh, has got those newer illustrations. There we are. The font itself is again very, very nice to read. Um, I've had no issues reading that in low light in the evenings to my to my son. Um, Pages themselves are nice and glossy, <clears throat> and in the back, I'm 
we have the last the last page of the last story uh, followed by a bibliography of um, other novels and picture books feat featuring Paddington final, final little illustration and the end of the book it's a very very nice edition <laughs>